continuing our discussion on mast cell activation syndrome. Tonight we're talking about Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and hypermobility spectrum disorders. EDS is a complicated disorder with upwards of 13 different phenotypes associated with it, but an inflammatory and or autoimmune cause is thought to be associated with some types of EDS. This has prompted researchers to look into the correlation between mast cell activation syndrome and EDS. For those of you who've watched my POT series, you will see that there is an overlap, it seems, between POTS, EDS, and mast cell activation syndrome. Look at the study in the description. But in that study, the researchers looked at their patient population and investigated how many had mast cell activation disease, and those who had mast cell activation disease, how many had EDS. Turns out around 10% of those with mast cell activation disease have EDS. The researchers theorize this is so important because if the inflammation from the mast cells can be controlled, does that help the EDS? Dr. Randall Gates, board certified chiropractic neurologist and chiropractic physician, signing out.